Hey, we are live. Script Cat here, uh, broadcasting live with a scope. Uh, a little bright. There we go. Oh my gosh, that's embarrassing. Um, today I want to talk about the uh, the nature of the business, the fact that you must have multiple projects. Um, hey, ciao. Ciao, ciao, Lisa. Ciao. From Roma. We're going to get to my guest in a minute. First of all, I want to talk about having multiple projects in the marketplace at all times to uh, have any shot at success. One script is not going to do it. You have to have many, many screenplays, and each script will find its journey, and um, or not. And even when you sell a screenplay, there is no guarantee. So you have to keep a solid body of work to uh, allow anything to move forward in the business. Now, when you write a script, I think many screenwriters don't think about the bigger picture of what they're writing and how they write it. Uh, if you're writing a Western, fantastic. I love Westerns. But the problem is... Oh, thanks. <laughs> Thank you. It's real, too. It's best we even show business. No. Um, the problem with the Western is that Hollywood's not making Westerns. Maybe Kevin Costner is right now on television. But the genre, The Lone Ranger didn't do well. So you don't want to be writing a Western. If You can, but don't anticipate that you're going to sell it. Most of your specs will not sell. What they'll do is get you out there and perhaps get you... Uh, a screenwriting assignment, which is the bread and butter of screenwriters. And I've sold one spec in my career that was made, and the rest of my jobs were assignments. Um, I'm too busy with assignments to write specs. And when I do write a spec, it's something that I'm really passionate about and I care about. Uh, so back to the process of screenwriting, you're going to have to attract elements to your script. Not only has it got to, has to be, the minimum requirement is to write an amazing screenplay. That's the minimum. That's the minimum. You're going to have to attract someone who wants to make your, your script, a producer. You're going to have to have something that they want to make. It's going to have to be commercial product that the producer is going to be able to find investors who want to invest millions of dollars in your idea and take a risk. Okay. Now, once the producer has to find another element, the director. Hey! You have to find a director who wants to direct your film. Okay, there's another element. In addition to that, you have to find actors who want to do your movie? Are you writing uh, characters that will attract an actor? And so, getting around to that point, my guest today is an actor. He's a writer, he's a director, he's a man of all seasons. He's a very good friend of mine. You probably know him from starring in the Disney classic Cool Runnings, Mr. Raul D. Lewis. Uh, Raul, welcome. Peace. So, deuces. Deuces. Raul, what... Uh, you, you um, receive scripts all the time. You're reading scripts every week. What do you look for uh, in a script, specifically um, a, a character? What, what's going to attract you in a screenplay? What kind of characters attract you? Um, I think people always look for characters that, 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 that are not cliché, obviously, that, people yeah. that you haven't seen before. Right. Originality of... Uh, multi-dimensional characters right you know uh, so that you maybe you're a cop but you also you're not straight laced cop you know uh, just human right and and the dialogue uh subtext things that are not you know dialogue right obviously um things that would turn an actor off you know everything's right. on the nose everybody says what they mean that's what i'm talking right. about um well, you, the other thing too is that every, everybody always expects, I think that you, the character has to say a lot, and a lot of times, right, it's written so well that you know you could just, you know, just, exactly, you, you 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 can play it without saying it, right? The, uh, your uh, writers, you're allowing the actor to act, you know, when 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 this is uh, you know 60 feet on a screen. <laughs> You don't have to say any words. I mean, you know, that's why I was, uh, when I do my consulting, I try to tell, act, you know, writers, strip out this dialogue, give them opportunity to act and emote instead of slab up the scenes that are three or four pages of dialogue. Just talk, 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 talk. Pontificating. Pontificating is boring. Stop it. Basta. Don't do that. Uh, and another thing, what turns you off, uh, you know. Cliche, I guess cliche things. So what happens yeah. is a, a movie start not imitating life but imitating other movies exactly and so then it becomes like a cliche thing right if i like almost every script i read the, the dialogues 
the, the person says the cops are there and then like the person says uh, we got company yeah, if, yeah and that that is something like that. that is um writers only writing what they've seen before right you know they're just regurgitating stuff and that's not good either because obviously you're not going to track actors to a project when they read it and go i've seen this a million times same way with producers or directors you want to have something fresh it's hard to have something completely fresh or original but um you should always try your best to do that actors fall in love with when, when a script has a dialogue that it sounds like someone real Yes, it sounds like God, or and you haven't seen it before. It's like God, I love this guy. Right. Uh, someone was asking, what projects do you have coming up? If you uh, can mention. Um, yeah, I just I just did a project. Uh, hybrids. 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 Yeah, it's a it's a movie about vampires. <laughs> was that was with uh, uh, Paul, Paul Sorvino, Sorvino right? Yeah, yeah. Um, and you're. Yeah. Uh, and there's sorry. one of. Uh, I, they don't have a name for it yet, but it's a uh, Louisiana. I'm playing a, I'm playing sort of a voodoo. <laughs> <laughs> now I mentioned to you I was in uh, Italy recently and I saw Cool Runnings on television, uh -huh. and uh, it was dubbed in Italian. And I was just flipping around the channels. I'm like, ah, oh, fantastico! Pre, uh, grazie. Pre, grazie, my, my, my friend, uh, yo. <laughs> Fry the power. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Uh, project I have it coming up uh, this year uh, is called Mother of All Lies. It's a thriller. It stars Francesca Eastwood, uh, and um, that will be uh, on television and also international. And then someone, my, someone just asked. That. Oh, are they, they both, both horror, horror films? films? Yeah. Uh, well, horror light. Horror light. Like a uh, like the child's version, I guess, of horror. <laughs> Zombies, and, no, not zombies, vampires. Yeah, the voodoo guys, the voodoo guy one is kind of a thriller. Ah. You know, but I'm, it's like a, a part of this long legacy of a sort of voodoo family in, in Louisiana. Right. But, well, that's great, because you get to travel, and, you know, in, in parts, and um, we're all it was a fantastic stand-up, hilarious stand-up, and it does yeah, and shows. Comedy. And he's doing comedy, of course, and he's going to be taking it over. Um, right. Amsterdam. Any international people, you got to look for them in Amsterdam, uh, Denmark. The Voodoo, I'm, I'm about to start filming that, I'm actually. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. When is the Voodoo? When is the Voodoo start? <laughs> when is that Voodoo that I like you do? I call it the Voodoo Project. <laughs> the Voodoo Project. Uh, yeah, the Voodoo Project. When does that Voodoo that you do so well start uh, production? <laughs> Uh, we're just, uh, the range is cleared here in Los Angeles, and of course we're, you know, having, there's no product placement, but it's Starbucks. Uh, uh, who's the director of the, uh... Is, is, is it the Voodoo one or the other one? The Voodoo one or the other one? There's so many. The, the, to, the guy, Tony Randall, is... The Voodoo one. Voodoo one. Uh, that's, uh, Michael, I forgot, I forgot his last name. <laughs> oh, wait, sorry. Oh, no, 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 sorry. It's, 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 that's David Roundtree. Sorry. David Roundtree, ladies and gentlemen. David um, I can't believe I called him Michael. And you start that after you get back from your Europe? That's your also, Canada yeah, I do. Tour? I start yeah. that after I get back from my comedy tour in Europe. Right. That's a, that, that was a good question, though, because that's something to remember. Always remember the director's name, because that's, that could be bad. Yeah. <laughs> it could be bad <laughs> And you pulled business. it out. He gave it the old college try. Uh, but, uh, yeah, we're just here in Los Angeles. It rained last night like crazy. Um and everyone, uh, freaks out. everyone freaks out because they don't know how to drive and um, they're not prepared for it because we don't have weather falling from the sky Here's, when reading a script what's the first thing you look for the parts well uh, they must have just jumped on what, what, the first you, thing that you look for on reading the parts the plots um, uh, it's all of the above but I think within the first 10 pages I just it, it's just sort of a gut thing I, uh, does this feel real or does this grab you yeah that's the first thing i need uh is, is this character is this character someone that's believable or someone that's fun to play a lot of times you look for enthusiasm it's enthusiasm uh it's a lot of time it's not in intellectualized it's just a, an excitement you have about the role and and how does the um how does your excitement um i'm sure with the producer and the director, obviously, if they're, you know, they can entice you with their excitement, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If people are excited to, to work on the movie, then 
it's sort of uh, infectious, so you yeah. get excited as well. Because making movies is uh, you not, need that. not exactly. easy, right. and you're going to battle, and you march off, and you have faith that the leader is going to lead you into, or down into the pit, and you go, why did I do this movie? Right. So, And you've turned down many things, uh, just because well, of the, those reasons, or it's just not worth it. Well, coincidentally, a lot of the, the, the things that I've turned down usually don't get made, because you can usually tell when the people or don't have their act together or when right. uh, when there's not a lot of enthusiasm or not, or they're uncertain about the project themselves. Someone yeah. asked if, if I believe in the Oh, you, yeah. I, uh, I believe I believe in whatever people believe in can become a possibility. So that's why I don't believe in voodoo. Uh, <laughs> okay, that's... um. I believe in the mind and the mind creating. The mind creating. Yeah. There we go. Um, so... We've got a uh, few people watching today, um, so just wanted to do a scope because I think uh, Periscope, I'm enjoying the process of being able to interact, and uh, we're going to jump on Periscope. I'm going to be, become a Periscope. going to become a scoper. going to scope out scope. Scope head. Scope head. And like I said, you follow Rawl at at Rawl TV. That's a Twitter handle, and uh, you find great hilarious jokes of the day and uh, you can find it all you'll be able to go to Instagram and all that stuff sometimes philosophy philosophy uh, little voodoo no voodoo. <laughs> no voodoo no voodoo no voodoo <laughs> we don't do voodoo um, oh look there's a Starline Tours bus going by hey hey let me show you wait hey. it's raining so there's not that many people yeah there. that's the bus that they drive around um but it just rains, so there's like no one on there. So. Yeah, that's the bus they drive around looking for, uh, you know, celebrities, celebrities and famous people. Although there was nobody on top, so. Um. <laughs> anyway, we're going to sign off today. I want to say uh, grazie mille. It's good. The cats, the cows got rain. Yes, it is good. Yeah, we, we got a drought, so we need it. Two days of rain. And uh, now it's beautiful blue skies. Uh so we sign off on this scope again. Follow Rawl at Rawl TV, and he's on Instagram. Follow me at ScriptCap. Uh, go to my blog, my blank page. It's on WordPress, and my website, Five O'clock Blue There'll be information about my screenplay consulting services and my new free app from Ciao. the app. Ciao. The app is Screenwriting Guru. It's a free app for your mobile phone, and uh, I'm going to be I'm going to be on here more often, giving you tips. So, arrivederci. Signing off. Deuces. Ciao.